What's up everybody, uh, this guy 4 here with another video review. As you can see I have the uh, All Spark Battles Voyager class um, incinerator. Uh, he's a pretty cool figure. His main colors are a uh, darkish gray, uh, a lightish gray, a type of like light blue, purple, um, and black on the propellers. Uh, he has a pretty cool gimmick where uh, if you push this back, his propellers move, and uh, he has translucent windows, and he has like a cockpit on his cockpit. Uh, it's nice. Um, he's pretty cool. He uh, has landing gear, which you just like roll out like that, and you pick these ones out. <coughs> And then he can roll along nicely, like so. Uh, it's a pretty nice mode. It's um something I've never seen. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, nice and original. And I like the color scheme. Um, I like how they use light blue and purple. Um, so I rate this mode a nine out of ten. Uh. So we'll get to his transformation. So first, you'll kind of just rotate those down. Then you'll separate the wing, the wing from the vehicle, just by splitting it like that. Then you will go to the bottom and split these parts in half and separate them. Okay. Then you'll push these up and fold them up. Rotate the legs down. Rotate this um this section down. Rotate that down. Rotate that down. And you'll twist the leg. Wait. Yeah, you'll twist the leg and rotate the foot up like so. And I'll get this guy standing. Now you'll just push his chest down. And automorph will happen where his cockpit splits, splits in half and goes to the sides of his chest. And the way you'll get this to stay is you'll put this blue section right here behind that peg right there, the purple peg sticking out right there. And it will stay. Uh, lastly, you'll rotate these forward, rotate it down, rotate his arms up. And twist his arms. And. <clears throat> and there you go. Yeah. There you go. And there he is fully transformed. Um, his colors maintain the same. He's uh. But there's a lot more light blue and purple. Uh. He's a pretty cool figure. Uh, only thing that I really don't like is that he doesn't have any hands. Uh, now with um, Starscream, Starscream also doesn't have hands. But um, the thing that I like about Starscream's hands are that um, the missile that he, it has missiles that actually fire, and he has those three. Um, Claws, which make it look like hands. So uh, that's why I like Starscream's hands better. Um, so his gimmick with the propeller still works in this mode. All you have to do is um, go to the back and push this down, and you'll get his propeller to spin. 
Um, and that's pretty much it for this mode. Um, he has a pretty well detailed face. I'm kind of surprised that it's like, um, a he's a Decepticon. Because his face kind of reminds me of an Autobot, because it kind of looks like he's smiling. Um, another detail that I like is that he has a Decepticon logo on his forehead, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this mode. Nothing too much, nothing much about it. It's just uh, another Voyager class. Nothing special, nothing bad. It's a good figure. So, um, I would pick him up. He's only $20 if you can find him. Um, th I just saw him yesterday. It's been, uh, the first time that I saw him. Um, and don't go ordering him on, like, eBay or Target.com or something. Because, um, it's not really worth it if you're going to order online. It's more worth it if you're going to buy it in the store. Um, when I got this guy, I also found Landline, which is a pretty cool find. It's the first time I saw Landmine too, but now I'm just looking for a stock kid and that will be it. I'm not planning on buying Incinerator, I mean, um, Evac, because, um, I don't want another repaint. So, um, yeah, please subscribe, and this is this guy 4 saying goodnight.